Hello, welcome to another video. As you can see, I have another cool insect to show off. This is another stick insect by the name Eurygenema versirubra timor, which is a whole mouthful. Um, as you can see, it's quite a beautiful, bulky beast. Keep my hand nearby, you can see she is pretty massive. I think about uh, 23 centimeters, and she's uh, still a small one. Supposedly, they can uh, become at least uh, 27. So, I really like this uh, this species. She has a very beautiful colors, all sorts of shades of green, spines surrounded by little blobs. Go up a little bit. Like the hind legs have like purple shades on it try to get zoom in to it a little bit later As you can see over there we have the male sitting there hidden a little bit behind the leaf let's get his head in the screen they're a lot smaller and they have um, a lot better developed wings I can actually sort of glide with them like fly but not really <laughs> And, uh, but the females have, uh, well, they cannot fly, they're too heavy. Uh, but they do have wings, but they use them more for um, scaring off predators like this. She is quite the aggressive little one. And she'll use her back legs as well. And you can see, oh, don't hit the male, that's not nice. You can see she has... Um, Let's so move uh, the branch a little bit. She has a red high, uh, inside of the wing, which will, uh, will startle predators, and she'll use her rear legs to try to smack the predator. Oh, as she gets, oh, calm down, calm down. Okay, I think I made her a little bit too angry now. The male just doesn't care, he starts eating. Always fun. Let's get her back close by. Yeah. Whoop. Now I probably made her nervous. Oh no. As you can see, because of this, they're not the easiest to handle. Like if you want to grab them out of the cage, they'll go all nuts and start moving around very hyperactively trying to smack you they'll hang in really strange um, uh, ways from like one leg and it will be like not comfortable you, can, you may accidentally drop her and she'll hurt herself a little picture from above you can see how she sort of like keeps her legs in front of her head making it look like as if she doesn't have a head. I really like the patterns on the, the legs and the, the body. I also like the rear legs a lot with the spines. It's a bit difficult to see, but they have a nice sort of purplish shade. body and look at that shade of turquoise ain't that pretty it's a really cool looking animal they're not too really hard to keep like food wise and enclosure wise but as I said before they're a bit, a little bit of a nervous uh, insect. They're not as calm as, as other um, stick insects or leaf insects, so they are a bit um, difficult to handle. But uh, next to that, they feed quite easily on Hypericum, and they grow uh, without too much troubles. 
so far they've been uh, for me they've been uh, fairly easy and uh, well I think that's all there is to show Mel is still enjoying himself a little leaf hope uh, someone found this interesting and goodbye